six. Can't be that's inside the room. Known by many names such as the Warrior, the Xenomorph XX121 Soldier is one form of the fifth stage of the life cycle of the species Plagiarus Prepotence. Two main types of Warrior type Xenomorph XX121s exist. While the Soldier is the adult version of the Drone or Lurker Stage 4, the Sentry is the Stage 5 adult form of the Stage 4 Runner type. So, in today's data log, I want to explore both creatures, what drives them to molt into their Stage 5 Soldier variants, what role they serve in the Hive, as well as their fearsome capabilities. The soldier being a more aged and matured xenomorph XX121 means that the creature is more physically large starting to rise to the height of around 9 feet tall and about 14 feet when measuring from dome to tail in length. Beyond just being larger than your standard drone, the soldiers are also much stronger and more powerful, easily able to bash down and burst through large metal door or bulkhead with successive strikes, moving with greater purpose and ferocity ready to take on any opponent that dare threaten it or its hive. Their most famous feature though that visually sets them apart from the other xenotypes is their ridge domes. This ridge type dome forms when the smooth dome of the drone loses its form and melds with the rigged tissue located beneath. Compared to the drone stage's smooth, sometimes semi-translucent dome, the soldier's ridge dome seems to be brought on by the physical age of the creature, more so than anything else. However, the ridge patterns might play a role in making the creature's head more durable during combat, providing resistance from direct or indirect impact forces, but this is largely speculation. Soldiers can vary in the color of their exoskeletal chitinous carapace. Some are gray, others are blue, some brown and probably many other colors that have yet to be recorded. The specific color these creatures develop for their chitin and the reason for it can vary. Most of the time the reason for a particular color is in order to differentiate themselves from soldiers from a rival hive. While color would play a role in this differentiation it's been observed in research that pheromones might also play a part, and even further, might also have a direct effect to the colorization of their chitin. The colour and design of their chitin can also play a role in their ability to camouflage or blend into their surroundings. But this is hardly a trait unique to soldiers, and can be found in most of the other xenoforms. Other than the colorization, the chitin exoskeleton also hardens and begins to protrude in certain areas to form blade-like structures from its elbow region. The tail of the soldier also lengthens with a barb that possess a neurotoxin that induces paralysis in a wounded victim. Once incapacitated surviving victims will be carried away to the hive for impregnation via manumola noxhydria, or facehugger. The fingers of the creature fuse dropping the sixth digit and leaving only five. A Stage 5 Soldier Type XX121 is the first stage to show an affinity for teamwork and pack hunting, as opposed to the solitary and self-serving nature of the previous stage. While still just as cutthroat as any of its prior stages in the life cycle and very much still capable of operating in solidarity, the soldier will opt to work with other soldiers in order to achieve desired goals. Usually, this social behavior presents itself in the form of a strategized attack on a population of hosts or on potential threats to themselves or their hive. Their ability to coordinate and plan shows a high level of intelligence. But it's not certain to what degree their own aptitude is surpassed by their connection to the greater hive mind of their queen. This intelligence can show itself in very impressive and yet terrifying feats, one of which is the creature's ability to quickly determine things like enemies' supply lines and cut these resources off, like cutting the power to a colony to kill forms of electronic weaponry and defenses, as well as attacking their opponents with overwhelming force. Sometimes they can suffer large casualties to their hive's numbers in the process. Some researchers at the project suggest the creatures do this as a way to demoralize the enemy with a show of an unending horde ready to strike at any moment, capable of taking any losses and keep coming. Like your drone the soldier has a bloodstream of highly corrosive acid. While your stage 4 xenomorphs still possess a pressurized bloodstream, the pressure within the stage 5 soldiers is much higher. This fact means that during combat against the enemy force if ruptured not only will the victim be doused in acid, but the wound will actually explode acid out from within. Following the creature's death as the bodies decompose, they have been noted to burst, spraying thick acidic blood all over the surrounding area. As previously stated, the Stage 5 soldier is essentially the adult form of the fourth stage of the Xenomorph XX121 life cycle. They develop either through natural maturity and age, but the process can also be accelerated artificially by a sufficiently developed hive mind and the queen's influence, forcing them to conform to specific roles within their hive structure. The time in which it takes for the soldier to develop from a Stage 4 is under study. But depending on the circumstances, some Stage 4 Xenomorphs XX121s will actually remain Stage 4 and halt their progression. 
In other cases, the move to soldier stage 5 has been seen to occur anywhere from a couple of weeks to as short as a few days, if required. The sentry is basically a stage 5 of the stage 4 scout, otherwise known as the runner type. Coming about after the development of a hive, the scout will molt into a sentry and take on many of the same traits and the general appearance of the soldier type. The sentry developing from the quadruped scout will retain its largely four-legged stance. Their limbs and digits are specialized for dexterous activities like scaling wall and ceilings of various textures and compositions, much more so than your standard XX121. Sometimes gaining the nickname of the defender, the sentry, as opposed to your soldier types that are more likely to leave a hive in search of hosts or to defend it during potential incursion, the sentry is much more likely to remain within the hive, relatively close to eggs and the queen's chamber. The sentry is a loyal servant of its queen and will easily lay down its own life in the act of protecting its queen. This lack of self-preservation can mean these stage 5 types are much harder to deal with and can be far more ruthless and aggressive. If you really want to support what we do here and gain a bunch of awesome rewards, consider joining as a Project Akron channel member like company representatives, the Sith Lord 906, Lewis Perkins, Jack Fleming Jr. and Scott Jardine, or like our team members, Raunchy, Ambrosia and Vladimir Chernikov. But until next transmission, this is Project Akron bringing the knowledge and the power directly to you.